there's another tape I watched, apparent, and I'll put a link below. Privacy of information. <laughs> you know all these laws that keep everything private? It only is designed so you don't get information, but the corporate world and politicians and all evil forces see everything you say and do. And this is an example of saved text messages from 9-11. Somebody kept all of the text messages from everything everybody was saying. And this is just a sample. And it's not so much what was being said in these texts, the big news is everything you say and do is being monitored and controlled and um, influenced you to to see what it is your, is on your mind. <laughs> and evil seems to feed off of fear, so it watches fear. It creates fear and then it likes listening to fear. And then it wants to create more and more fear because it makes a lot of money off of fear. Somebody made a lot of money off of keeping these texts. Somebody's in business trying to keep a hold of all of your texts. And it's the corporate world that, you know, if they can use what's in the mindset, you can judge what's going on in stock. It's stock man manipulation. It uh, uses media to emotionally make you react. And as long all of stock is all be, uh, emotional based, so and I've always always said that anybody that's you know really really good at the stock market, it's all insider trading. But you don't want to look at insider trading. You only want to look at the guy that you don't want to to, to look at that's making money from insider trading. But it, it, it's like every freaking one of them are using insider trading. They are manipulating all stocks. It's not like they're smart enough to know what stock is going to happen. They are controlling it, encouraging you to react so that their stocks will rise and fall. But most of the time, they lose money off of it losing. <laughs> they're winning by whether it raises or falls. There's some stock guy that knows exactly what's going to happen because of this tracking of all text. Everything you say, every emotion that's going on is insider information that's saying, oh, everybody's scared. This is what they're going to do next. <laughs> I've led them down the path I wanted them to go. Same with BP Oil. You can see all these top executives, they sold all their stock just days before because they knew what was going to happen. They were going to incite people to, oh, I bet you they'll sell their stock now. <laughs> So they made a lot of money selling it while it was high, <laughs> and a lot of people lost their shirts buying that little investment, but it was all insider trading. Anybody that's got a billion dollars is a criminal. <laughs> They've earned their money in criminal ways, one way or another. It is not the in thing to have a big bank account. Oh, and Deepak Chopra, that means you. <laughs> This guy is one of the most corrupt guys I've ever seen. You may not see that one because he's like been into the, you know, health. <laughs> but he's been spreading the worst health guidance that you could possibly see if you could see the big picture of what he's doing. And his late one of his last books that I stopped reading was he was accept trying to teach you to accept death. Why? Because he was making a lot of money off of you dying and you didn't even notice it because he called it good health. And then he made a ton of money off of selling the world a lot of bullshit about health. And then he says, I don't have to justify myself with all this wealth. And then he, he pats himself as being a good guy by, you know, he, this is on the internet. This guy ain't scared to say what he really wants to say. But he says, I'm frugal, which means I save my money and don't let it flow within the economic system so anybody else can actually earn a living. I've taken all the money for myself and let it sit there in a big bank account so I can say I'm rich. And then I don't have to justify it. And then he says he's frugal and uh, he shares. So if he buys a pair of shoes, then he buys somebody else the exact same shoes that he wants to buy. It's like, well, maybe you may need some shoes, but you know what? That person you just gave shoes to might have need food to feed their families. But you never thought of that one, did you, Deepak Chopra? Anyways, uh, bottom line, pick out a billionaire 
and I'll show you where the crimes are and how they they they've earned their money through criminal behavior and you just can't connect the dots yet. They're all evil. Anybody that's got a billion bucks is evil. Virgin Airlines. Evilest guy on the planet. Oprah Winfrey. God, she's got it bad. <laughs> just pick a billionaire and I'll show you exactly the crimes that they've committed that you can't connect the dots to. But now, you know, evil is showing its colors. You know without a doubt which side is good and which side's bad. The bad guys have all the money. <laughs> the good guys are the ones that were just like people pleasers. You know, we were willing to do the work. <laughs> just a thought. Peace out.